People ask me some version of this question all the time. How did I end up going from writing an environmental history of New Orleans to writing about uh, Civil War memory and uh, particularly horrific Indian massacre? Uh, and the honest answer is that uh, the New Orleans book was an intellectual accident. Um, I went to graduate school to study with an extraordinary scholar of the Cherokee Nation, a man named Bill McLaughlin, who had uh, incidentally reinvented himself as a scholar. He began his career as a religious historian um, and over time uh, moved into native history, indigenous history. Uh, at any rate, I went to study with Bill because I wanted to write about why the Cherokees had fought with the Confederacy during the Civil War. And Bill uh, died while I was in graduate school. Actually, after my, I took a semester of uh, a, a seminar with him, first semester of my first year, and uh, he then passed away. Uh, and I ended up writing the New Orleans book almost on uh, on a lark. Uh, that sounds a bit more flippant than perhaps someone uh, should uh, should when they're when they're describing their own uh, intellectual work. But it was really a, I, I after Bill died, I, I became a Brazilianist for a little while uh, because they had great parties. Um, then I uh, decided that I was going to write about consumer culture in the African-American community at the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, I got some very good advice uh, from a, a senior scholar in the field that I shouldn't do that. And at that point, I really didn't know what I was going to do. Um, I drove down to New Orleans to visit a friend of mine. Uh, I dr drove from Providence, Rhode Island to New Orleans, um, arrived in New Orleans as many people do when they drive into the city and was completely flummoxed by what this place was doing there. Uh, it really is a kind of an urban island island in the middle of these vast swamps um, and thought to myself, gee, I wonder if somebody's written a book about what the city is doing here. Uh, I did and uh, that, that became my dissertation topic and then a book and then you know, it did what first books maybe are supposed to do. It, it got me tenure and it then died a sort of polite death uh, until 2005 um, when Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans. At which point uh, that book uh, was revived. It had a, a, a brief renaissance, uh, and I could tell that story, but it's too embarrassing. Um, so I'm going to leave it aside. Uh, sort of my engagement with Katrina, and then making what could be a, a much longer story than is necessary, somewhat shorter. Uh, I doubled back to writing about uh, Native Americans during the era of the Civil War. Uh, we we moved to Denver, Colorado. Uh, I wanted to do what I hoped would be a, a local project that would be less sprawling than my book on New Orleans. Um, I failed on both counts. The, the Sand Creek book took me all over the place and ended up sprawling in directions that I never would have anticipated. Uh, and, uh, but I did end up revisiting this issue of, of Native people and their involvement in what I think of as the hinge event in American history.